Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Simon Shutarik. Um, welcome you back. Today we will be solving uh, one of the recent paper and I believe this is as per request of my main students. So this is our October number 21. This is what we are planning to solve today. Okay, so second let me just zoom in. Okay, so here we go. <clears throat> Uh, you have been supplied with the following source files. Remember, whenever you have the following files, you have to go and you have to check them. I'm sure you know how to extract the files, right? You know how to extract. And once you open the files, make sure that you have all the files. Make sure you have the extensions exactly as mentioned. What I mean to say is that if they say it's an RTF file, make sure it's an RTF file. You can have the same name and maybe it's a TXT file. So uh, in, in case of images, in 2011 paper they mixed up the GIF file with the JPG file and students uh, committed a mistake over there so you have to read the file names with extensions carefully open the evidence file here we go so that's our evidence where we have to place our evidence over here one by one right make sure your names and number will appear on every page uh, so obviously I have them mentioned where make sure that <coughs> your document is saved as this name followed by your center number your uh, for example this and your okay can so your, your candidate number so you can mention over here your your name tab your center number and your best tab and your candidate number right and you will have to save this as this evidence and whatever is it. Here we go. Right? Okay. <clears throat> now let's start. Task 2. You're going to edit a newsletter. A corporate house style uh, must be used. A corporate house style basically, um, if you want to have an extensive knowledge about it, your book has explained it well, or you can refer to my notes on my website, mrsime.com or mrsime.com. I have um, a PDF file of the notes, 36 pages, which has all these practical part theory questions that can come. Uh, theoretical practical parts, I, I call them. Um, corporate house styles are those styles such as CSS, uh, they, they're defined where they're defined on billboards, on websites, on memos, on letterheads. On, on greeting cards, everywhere, everywhere where a corporate might be presenting themselves, marketing themselves. So whenever you look at, for example, Coca-Cola, don't mention um, this company names in your exam, but I'm just to, to explain you, I'm saying so, Emirates, you will always find a particular font that they always use, a color that they always use. They always have uh, a way of presentation. So you can easily tell that the following advertisement is for the following company. That's the corporate house style. It is represented through um, colors, through font, heading, subheading, uh, through language, um, and so and, and, and color scheme as well. Right. Okay. Three paragraph styles have, have already been created. So three paragraph styles have already been created for you, okay? An additional paragraph style must be created and applied to the document as included. So please read the scenario carefully, okay? We tend to ignore. Don't do it. It's your examination. You can't ignore things. Don't ignore, okay? <clears throat> you have to uh, write down somewhere. I, I will tell my students you can write with a pencil that, okay, I have to do this, I have to do this. Please check, okay? Check. Write or hit check and note down the points. I have to check the following things. Okay, be alert. It's your final exam. You just It's not your school activity. Although you should be doing your school activity, uh, but obviously um, no one takes it that seriously. Okay. Open the, the other file, which is news. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. That's the other one I just created. Okay. And then uh, the page setup is A4. So we just have to check that. The, so we'll come into layout, we'll check it's A4, it is. Uh, <clears throat> por uh, portrait orientation and with two centimeter margins, do not make any changes to these settings. So we have to check whether it's two centimeter. Yes, it is. And we have to check whether it's portrait as yes, obviously it is. Right. 
set the document work area in a format of the software you're using with the file newsletter. So we are using um, obviously is uh, docs so I will save it with the same file format as they have mentioned so here we go and we will save it in Word document I'll save it there we go we did that okay. place in the header an automated page number center aligned <clears throat> so in the header I am going to use this option and over here over here since it's being recorded I was taken a bit fast I can come oh no I just have to insert is the page uh, actually is the page number yeah so <clears throat> um, in the header automated page number so we can simply say over here page number and current position and we can use the first one what else do we need place in the footer so we, do, we don't need this we don't need this so I'll delete this and I'll delete this because we don't need that and I can press the down arrow key come to the footer and what we need in the footer is place in the footer edited by I just say control C and here we go oh, where are we supposed to place it um, right line so uh, do we have to place something else read always ahead uh, good, good point always read ahead if you read ahead you will know what you have to do and you probably will not commit mistakes in many modules this happens Aligns the match, uh, margins, no, no other text or place holders are included in the area of header footer. Yeah, see, they're not. So that's why I deleted the text. Headers and footers are displayed on all the pages. Obviously, they will. So I have to place this right line. So I can simply press tab, frankly speaking, and I can come to the right and I can say control V. And I can write over here is. Sorry, I just. Write something else, Mr. Sign, for example. Right, so done with that. Yeah. Point number three create and store the following style basing it on the default paragraph style. Okay, so if we have to create VE subheading. Okay, so you do know how to create one. You will simply come into home and you will, you can see over here is. V, E, V, E, V, these have been created for you, okay? So we, we, we're going to create another one. So I'll just come into apply styles. Uh, you can create this new and we'll modify it. <clears throat> it is supposed to be sans serif. And you know that um, Times New Roman is serif and Arial is sans serif. And why Arial is serif? Because Arial has pointed edges and serif have, they have is, uh, Serif have pointed edges and Arial have smooth edges. I'm sorry. So done with this. Uh, it's supposed to be 14. It's supposed to be center aligned. It's supposed to be bold and italic. It's supposed to have single line spacing. Come to format. Come into paragraph and make sure it has single line spacing. And zero and six space before and space afterwards zero and six so we're going to make this zero and we'll make this press ok right okay we, we will we'll resolve this afterwards okay there we go now what we'll do is <clears throat> we have to probably create another one okay the name style v has already been created so we don't have to create one we just have to edit it store and apply to the body text in the document we have to modify the ve body so the ve body that we have with the V body, yeah. So the V body that we have, this one, we are simply going to modify this, and it has to be the following. V body has to be serif. So it's Time New Roman. It's serif. It's eleven. It's eleven. It's justified. It's justified, right? Uh, enhancement? No. There's no bold italic. No. Line spacing one point five. We need to check that. It's single. One point five and 0 and 6 and 0 and 6 okay so there were some changes to be done right as you can see there okay here we go so we have done this right point number five at the start of the document above the subtitle quarterly newsletter enter the title so we body done we subhead done right this just just confirming my dear so here we go 
Yeah, I need to add the following. So, so in the beginning, over here, I'm just going to press enter, and here we go. We're going to get control V. Let's see what do they ask now. The name style V title has already been created and stored. Modify the V title slide so that the following title title style so that so V title. So we, we are going to click on this and modify. Modify in such a way it is sans serif. It's not sans serif, so we're going to make it sans serif, and we will stick to. Uh, I think so. We made it Arial, if I'm right. Okay, I'll make it area. Right, and 22. It's not 22. It has to be center aligned. It has to be bold and italic. It has to be single line spacing. It has to have 0 and 0. No, it doesn't have 0 and 0. And here we go. Right? Okay, <clears throat> so we've done this as well. We've done this as well. Place your evidence screenshot of the uh, V title slide. Okay, so we were supposed to actually place these the following. Okay, the following in the evidence document. Okay, um, in order to save time, I'm not doing it, but obviously, I will tell you how you were supposed to do. For example, if we're supposed to give the evidence for this, um, I would have taken using the snipping tool. I would have copied this and I would have placed in my evidence wherever it is. So for example, this was, this was evidence 2. I'll place it here and I will not make it very small so that when I take a printout it's visible. Okay? And the same way I would have done this for the subtitle and placed the evidence for that as well and so on and so on. Okay, right? Okay, so that's how you were supposed to do that. So we've done this. Place in the header and automate. Oh, we done. We done. We done this. Where are we? Okay. Apply amended V title slide to the text in step five. What was in step five? Oh yeah. So V E title. I think so. Already did that. So V E title. Right. Yeah. Right. So select the subheading apprenticeship updated and the following text a text up to and including the paragraph ending can benefit business select the submitting this and the following text up to and including the paragraph and this change the page layout so that only this text is displayed in the two columns width with one single gap okay right so it's from apprenticeship till business so it's from apprenticeship Right. Paragraph ending with apprenticeship. So if I saying is this one right? Best way is if you can't find it somehow. Yeah, here. So it was. So I am going to, okay, let me read this, apprenticeship update, but apprenticeship, so all this where we have is apprenticeship update, okay. So we are going to layout, column, more columns to, uh, I believe it's a one centimeter gap and select a text, here we go. Right? <clears throat> right. So, done this one. Point number nine. 
apply dash style bullet to the text construction and buildings to transport and logistics so we have dash the bullet are aligned at the left the list is a single line spacing no space between the lines and there's a six point space after the last item on the list we'll just check check that so construction till logistic Then the dash. I've used you saw how I did it, right? And what's supposed to have? Let's check. It's supposed to have single line spacing. It's supposed to have six point space after the last item. So after six point, it, 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 it does it does have that. The bullet line left margin. There's single line spacing and no spaces between the line. And no dead spaces, right? No spaces, single line, and six. Done, right. And that, identify the four subheadings in the document and apply V subheading style to each one. So I can see over here is, I have, is this one, V subheading, two, three, Right. Using the data in the file, this create a pie chart to compare each level of the year in 2019 and 20 only. So we have over here is here we go. And we have to do what? We're going to make a pie chart to compare 2019 and 2020. Only. So we have Title, each sector, only the level and percentage. Sorry, they're saying is for each sector, only the level and percentage. My chart is big. And do we have display total? Each level. Oh, okay, right. For only for this following year. So we just go. Sorry. I didn't press control, press control. Okay, so let's have We have is um, okay, we need this title okay, and we can format.
this is supposed to be Okay, what else do we need? Uh, sector only level and percentage uh, sector label. We have that title right done, done, done. Insert the chart after the paragraph ending outnumbered intermediate level. Make sure the chart and all fits in one column. So intermediate level. Okay, I need to find that. So, but before I do that, I will just simply copy this uh, intermediate level. We have to find. Here we go. We just found it. So I'll just enter and control V. We got that. Yes. Import the image JPG transfer and place it in the paragraph the, the vocational skills. So vacational oh, sorry before I'm sorry in the beginning yeah right 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 and this image is transfer or JPG the path is rotate the image 180 degrees Format the image so that it is resized to width of three centimeter with an aspect ratio. It's three centimeters, so uh, sorry, it's it's width of three centimeters. So we're going to make the width three centimeters. So here we go, and we're going to maintain the aspect ratio. I believe. Enter. The text wraps around the image, so we can use over here is tight. It is aligned to the left of the column and to the top of the paragraph. It is. You can see over here. The alignment perfectly done, okay, right? Yes. Format only the paragraph that starts the 46 comment so that the text is indented by one centimeter from both left. So the, the, let me first see where it is. The 46th. Yeah, here. Okay, uh, we, we can frankly take it down. Um, we do the orphans. We need to see uh, whether it's it's, it's applicable. Uh, okay. Uh, for example, if you select, you can go into paragraph, line and spacing, and where is an orphan has been selected. So okay, right? <laughs> There's no blank pages. Styles applied. Spacing is consistent. And print the document. Okay. Now we have task three: databases. You are going to. Prepare some reports based on assessment results. Date are to be inputted, imported in the format of day, month, year, right? Use the tools software package, import the following file. Okay, use the following field names and types. Set this as a primary key. Okay, let's start doing this. So we will open up access. Path and we are going to 
actually import is trainee.csv okay so let's import from a text file because we are going to import is a generic file so it has to be this so it has to be trainee okay next delimited first row contains the field names and text 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 date time text etc so next so we were supposed to make sure that this is DDD MMMYY. Okay. So how you can do this is you can simply come into table tools. Um, if you want this to be DDD MMMYY, so you will select from here is medium. Okay. So you can you can have a look. Long is this where you have the full months, so it's DD, M, 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 then Y, Y, Y. Okay, so you just, just explore these yourself. Okay, so we need over here is medium, right? And then we need is short, uh, start time, it's supposed to be start time, it's supposed to be medium time. No, 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 no. It's supposed to be this. It's supposed to be only hour and minute. And the same case is with duration, it has to be short time, right? Okay, so this is how it's supposed to be, these these points. Okay. Do I set the primary key? Save the data. Okay, done that. Okay, place an evidence showing the field limbs and the type used. Again, the same point that you have to take a screenshot of this entire thing, right? Okay, create one to one relationship between training number in the training table and the student ID in the results table. So we have to actually make a relationship. So we come into relationships, we add both of them, and we're going to make a relationship between the training number and the student ID. So you can see over here is the training number, and we have the student ID, and it's one too many, right? You can take a screenshot of this if required, and you can place it in the evidence document as well, okay? Okay, showing the relationship we have to, yes. Enter the following details as a new record in the trainee table. Schneider, ah, reminds me of Schneider's list. Okay, it's, it's an old, it's not an old movie, but it, it, it's based on an old movie, but it is filmed in black and white. <clears throat> okay, so we have, where is the trainee's table? It's a nice movie, by the way. It's uh, based on the German Hitler's era. Okay, uh, so, we're not here to discuss movies for God's sake. Why am I doing so? So, <clears throat> anyway, um, trainee stable. So, first name, Schneider list. There we go. Do you see this plus that's appearing? That's because of the relationship that we just created. In the trainee table, I'll have this. I'll have Lena. I mean, you will be not, you'll not be able to do this in the exam because you know you'll have the hard copy. Only I have the privilege right now. You will not have the privilege. I love copy pasting. I don't want to type all this. I, don't, I, I hate being a typist for God's sake. I don't want to type. I hate typing. Female. Software developer. Tawara. Here we go. And you know what? You can double click here and double click between the columns to view everything. Do you know that? The magic trick? Here, magic? Okay, good. Check it out if entry errors. Make sure you don't write T small or D small. You will be penalized for that. Now we're going to make is a report. So first we do is we make a query. You know that. Okay, use the query design always. The wizard is something I don't prefer. So we're going to add is select the records where so show only the fields okay so uh, select all the records where the trainee provider includes this date birth is this and so we have to provide the following uh, the first name family name so we'll provide the first the first name first the first name family name date birth date trainee job Training, training provider. 
okay any other field no we will see desert provider read all the question maybe if you have any other field so the training provider includes the tech digital yes anyone who has the answer remember remember if you study this yes raise your hand how do we find a particular word yes we use the wild cards the star so we use over here is the two stars we write over here is star come on man in working okay that's bad I like this my keyboard has a problem okay I'll do it again I'll do it again. hey man star oh don't, don't temper with my work no no I know so I'm so sorry but there seems to be is that star yes yeah so we are going to have a star digital star now if we run this we get all those training providers that have the word digital within them and this is what they're saying they include the text digital the birth date is in 2003 so we are going to have the birth date in 2003 okay so all we have to do is birth date we can do the same thing frankly speaking so we get 2003 only okay shows on the fields done source data into ascending order of training provider source data into ascending order of training provider fits on single page wide includes the text this as a title so whenever you have to save your okay you have to save it you save it with the name it will appear in the heading when you make a report so we can directly make a report of this we go to create we click on report um, we have to make sure that it is portrait this portrait so I'll just arrange it here we go arrange it yes extra pages I'll just eliminate uh, them how do we do that well you come to the design view and you just stretch it back the page number I don't want this over here so I'll stretch it back what will happen now you see I don't get it and design you again right so what do we need let's study again so if a single page includes heading has center mechanism the report so if you want your details you would already know you'll provide them the page footer and you will type over here is your name okay slash your your center number and your candy date number right you got the following here we go we have this okay and what else hold on this right so this is what we have um, I, I could frankly speaking uh, what I could do is although it's not a big requirement but still extend this still here okay so that it looks better you have sufficient spaces as well you see and that is if you have extra time you can do this anyway it's not a compulsion okay next what we have is using the fields from board table produce a tabular report okay so I'm going to close this right so I'm going to create a redesign from board tables can do the new field so uh, first I will include a uh, first name, family name. I, I I'll do this first. Okay, I'll do this first. I'll add this. Uh, test date, right? So first name, family name, subject, test date. Test day, start time, mark achieved, percentage marks, the 
is it percentage mark mark achieved percentage mark uh, percentage mark is what we have to calculate actually and result is uh, so first we need a percentage mark so let's do that so percentage mark will be calculated contains a new field at percentage mark calculate at runtime this field will calculate the mark achieved divided by total marks to be displayed as percentage visit estimates no problem so all we have to do is control v we have to use shift colon did I use it? yes I did and we'll use these two brackets and we are going to have over here is uh, we can see over here is marks achieved total marks right so in the same in the same exactly you have to type it underscore achieved -E -E right mark achieved divided by these two brackets and total marks total underscore this is one of the typical mistake that I've seen students doing they type the wrong field names the same case they miss out character and they can't find the error so you have to make sure you're typing exactly the same thing. Even I do so. It's, it's something that we have to just be careful about. Okay. So um, anyway, we, we, we get this, this. Okay. Mark achieved. Right. So percentage mark achieved divided by total marks. Right. Okay. Let me read this. Um, right. Uh, total marks, uh, the field will calculate the mark achieved divide by total marks and will display percentage due to basis. So how we can do that? We can simply uh, CCC. It's, it's, I'm sorry. Let me check the spelling again. It's mark. Check with me. Oh, sorry. Spelling wrong. Spelling wrong. Look who's talking. Uh, we have is a And then divided by total marks. Now it has to be in percentage first of all. So we can simply select this. Okay, it's not showing, but we can do is we can go to the properties. percent zero right okay <clears throat> selects the records where test day is Sunday Saturday or Sunday every time you do it please run and see it's working or not Marks achieved is 25 or more, okay? It's 25 or more. So it should be greater than or equal to 25. It is. Shows in the following field done that in order. Sorts it into ascending order of test date and descending. Ascending test date. and descending subject right okay has a portion landscape fits includes only the text this as a title large font size visible at the top calculates the total number of test has a label this okay we'll do all that in a report so let's run this we will create as a report of this 
we'll name it as this heading and has to be landscape so here we go we'll make it landscape we'll arrange it manually and we'll make sure that we do not overlap any of the heading so that oh, this is perfectly fine okay what else what else uh, they were they just said inclusion the title is print larger font so we can actually somehow bold it and somehow we can make it a bit larger font right then specify calculate the total number of tests and displays this as integer below the subject column okay sorry word um in calculate the number of tests and displays it below the subject column yeah so so we can simply click on subject and we can say over here is count the records and if you can see over here is i am getting this but what we need is if i go to design view i need to have the text before this that says has total test completed left to the value calculate the number of tests and displays the integer value below the subject column at the end of the report yes we done that but we, but we need to have is using a label while in the design view i am going to have this and now if i preview this you can see is i am getting this but i want to get rid of this you can can or cannot doesn't make a difference but make sure at least what you do is you make sure that your your, your this is a bit more visible okay it has to be visible this 40 was not that much visible now it's visible okay uh, although you can get rid of this border if you want to you you can you can go to the properties and you can get rid of it displays your name send them candidate number so using this you gain a display is your name i'm sorry name date number right what else um once you get your print out remember one thing once you get your print out you are going to check this again you are going to check this again i have i done this right check with the print out 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 and i'm pretty sure um my good students my 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 average students they are they are able to complete this 15 20 minutes before p2 takes more time you know p4 to takes more time than p3 you know that uh, but still i have i even i have students who completed uh, 40 minutes before the actual time and you will have time to check okay and if you uh, want to print again you can print again right so we done the uh, document production part and the database part in the next lecture video we will be completing the mail merge and the powerpoint okay till then see you bye bye